Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Liam. Can I ask a quick question? I'm joined by camera operator Lady Cat who has a quick question. Why are you wearing a hat like that? It's chef hat isn't You're it? trying to be, is it supposed to be like jaunty? Yeah, it's supposed to make me look like fun. Okay, all right. Um, we'll, we'll carry on. Yeah, it's very unimportant. What is important is welcome to my kitchen. And today in the kitchen, uh, I'm going to make cooking fun, or I'm going to try, because making cooking fun is an impossible task, but I'm going to try. And today we're going to cook chimichurri, yeah? Sure. Chimichurri lamb chops. We've got a um, correction to make. Uh, apparently, you might have seen a couple of episodes ago, we made jambalaya. That's not how you say that, it's like, how did Ellie say it? Jambalaya. I thought it was like jambalaya or something like no, that. She said it stupidly. We said it wrong, apparently. Doesn't matter. I've probably said chimichurri wrong. Doesn't matter. What matters is that you have fun cooking, all right? So if, if you find saying it wrong is more fun, go for it. And especially if you can make a song out of it. Jambalaya. All right, but we don't want to get sued. So if you want to make the chimichurri lamb chops along with us, um, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need 30 grams, a bunch of fresh mint, a 10 gram fresh coriander, 10 gram fresh flat leaf parsley, grated zest and half the juice of one lemon, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two teaspoons of garlic granules, two tablespoons of water, not pictured, Half a teaspoon of granulated sweetener or sugar. We're using sugar. Sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Eight lamb chops or cutlets trimmed of all visible fat. We're using four. And I'm probably not going to trim the fat off them, I'm going to be honest with you. And low calorie cooking spray. Now, what this pinch of non recipe recommends to a company is 75 gram mixed salad and 126 gram of cooked new potatoes. But we say, fuck that, let's make an actual meal out of this. And we're gonna have um, parmenta potatoes, what's that? Dead little cube potatoes. All right, and spring greens. And also, um, gravy, let's get the gravy. And also, actually, one other thing that we're gonna have, Mint sauce. Don't forget the mint sauce either. Mint sauce. That's really going to add a little um, pizzazz to the proceedings. So that's what you need. Uh, now we're going to get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the mint leaves from any tough or woolly stalks. That's not the first thing you're going to do though, is it, Catherine? Come on. No, you've got to wash your hands. You've got to wash your hands. I cannot stress enough how important washing your hands is. And use some uh, some soap or something. I'm using Carex there, aloe vera. But you could use that fairy liquid, that would work as well, wouldn't it? I guess so. Yeah, it probably would. So once my hands are all nice and clean, I'm then gonna dry them using the tea towel that we've got over here. And then I'm gonna do the stuff that it's said to do with the mint leaves and all that sort of fun stuff. So here we go. Why don't you do that thing where you read a couple of steps ahead just to make sure you know what you're doing with those mint leaves once you I'm, pulled them off the stalks. I'm removing the mint leaves from any tough or woody stalks and I'm placing them in a food processor or blender along with the coriander and parsley. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this stuff away because I'll be honest, we don't need this stuff right now, do we? No. We're just going to like that. Um, so here's the, where's the rest of it? Oh, you've, for some reason you've put it at the back there. It's very odd, but never mind. Does not mean to try and predict the way of the Catherine. I just go with it, don't I? Really? I'm gonna, oh, so what we're gonna want, because it's, uh, it's, it's grams and stuff, Wait, this is 30 grams, so I'm going to have to do all of this. 
Wait, bearing in mind we've only got four lamb things. So I've got half everything. You've got half everything, so it's All half right. the packet. All right, I'm going to eyeball it. Well, um, you still have to chop it, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. but what, what I need to do mm -hmm. is... You need to put the... Pop, you need to twist it, that's it. There we go, now you can put the chopper in. I know I'm good. I need to eyeball half of this and I chuck it right in here, don't I? Mm -hmm. That's what it says. It is what it says. So what you want to do with this, right, is as you can see here, what, what's happened here is they put a little like elastic band thing around it and that just keeps it all together. And then oh, you just pull it off because you don't want any of the, the stalky bits, it said. But what you do, oh, it smells really minty, doesn't You've it? You've just put a huge bit of stalk in it. You... Yeah, but it's hard. No, look. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, get rid of that now. Uh... Just so, the leaves. It's really not difficult. Well, it is difficult. It's not, though. Just, just pull at the leaf. That's what I'm done. What do you mean, pull oh, Show me leaf. what you're doing. No. What the fuck? How would you do it? Right, okay. Like, right, I'll, you take I'll, the camera. I'll take the camera and you show yeah. me. Well, for a start, you really don't need to keep them bunched like this. Why not? Because it's going to make it harder. Right, that's about half. Or have you started tearing from this half? Doesn't matter, let's say that okay. half. This one. That one there, yeah. Okay, so you can see here that there's individual leaves on the branches, yeah? Yeah. So you take the leaves off. I'm too strong to do that. Everything comes you know, off when I put it off. I am, I'm, really, I'm stronger than I look. It's because you were pulling the whole bloody thing out. No, look. You hold it and I'll show you what I was no. doing. No. No, because I, I need to show you. I'll just pull it. Oh, yeah, look, it all which, comes off yeah, I'm because I'm stronger not, than I look. No, you're not pulling from the right place. What place do you pull it from? I'm just going to do this because this is just silly. Just being silly, aren't you? No, this is cooking with Liam, not cooking with Catherine. What are you doing? You're ruining the show, Catherine. No, I'm fixing your incompetence. You're incompetent. No, because I'm the one who's doing this properly. So these leaves are a bit wilted. Oh, let's not get a close-up of my face. It's not a good look. So, if you've just joined, welcome. This has now become Cooking with Cat, apparently. Any cat top tips? Chef cat top tips? Yeah, actually pull the leaves off and not the bloody stalks. Otherwise, you'll end up with your girlfriend stepping in and fixing everything, as per usual. Here's a Chef Liam top tip. Um... Date someone who knows what they're doing in the kitchen and that's going to make your life a lot easier. Uh, that's what I've done, not what Kat's done. And uh, if you look at my face, I'm pretty happy. If you look at her face, mad as hell. So, that's my top tip. <laughs> I'll do this now, I'll tell you that much. Well, what's, what's Chef's top tip when you get bored? <laughs> I'm almost done. That's it, that's it, we're done. We're done. Right, lovely. So, um... Oh, I dropped some. You make a mess? Yeah. Liam doesn't make a mess. What? Okay. Yeah, if you want to pick that back. Yeah. So, now, I'm going to just put these back in the bag. I'm going to, have, I'm going to sniff them first, because... Just don't eat it lovely. again. No, it didn't taste good. Chef Liam, top tip, mint. By itself, like if you just eat a bit of the leaf, not Thanks. good. But taste as you go, and you learn these things. So, right, we put that in, and then it says to also put in the coriander and parsley. Does it say to do that before chopping it? Yeah, yeah. Put okay. it all in together, all in together. But ten grams of the coriander and ten grams of parsley. It doesn't say nothing, absolutely nothing about like taking it off the. Of I mean, the... I would highly recommend that you take it off the stalks. Oh, but I didn't say I had to. Please do because it's just it. Oh, the right. texture is horrible if you leave the stalks. Okay. I'm trying. Did you not pay attention to anything? Oh, I was paid doing? all the attention. You did it weird. Am I doing it better now? We only want 10 yeah. grams of this. Yeah, but you've, you've barely added a single gram. <laughs> yeah, I know. This isn't like as easy as the mix. It's not all nice and bunched and, you know. It's difficult. What happened there? You dropped like half the bloody stock in. Oh, these things happen, don't they? 
You've just got no patience for cooking, have you? Can well, I... it's not fun, is it? Like, what part of this is fun? How could we make this fun? That's my question. That's Maybe nice. if we do a little dance as we do it. Do a nice little... Look, Boogie, is that making it more fun? Because I don't think so, personally. No. But, you know, I'm sick of it. That's that's probably still not 10 grams, is it? No. How much is 10 grams, then? I've just had a few more. Oh, I mean, that's yeah, ridiculous. That's, that's mad. What have you done? I pulled out, I tried to pull out a couple. Are you just being deliberately chaotic? No, never. I'd never do that to you. Right, <sighs> something you do on a daily basis no lovely lovely sick of that sick. you know you still got to do the uh flat leaf you... parsley right yeah but does that can i just put that in or no because to... that also comes in stocks. oh why do you want me to do it no it's cooking with liam yeah, but liam seems very reluctant to cook today what what's this what's this cooking yeah, but you're already putting up a fuss, aren't you? That'll do, won't it? No, I want to do one more, because no, never let it be said that Liam's putting up a fuss about cooking. That's literally what you do in every episode. Listen, mm -hmm. here's the thing about cooking with Liam. I tell you how to cook, and I tell you... I, sh I show you cooking in its most real, raw form. Um, that's why we don't edit this. Um, it's raw. It's exactly... If you were brand new to cooking, much like I am, these are sorts of trials and tribulations... Just put it to the side for now. ...that you may face. Flat leaf parsley. Ten grams of this, right? So we've done the coriander. We've done the mint. I don't know what all this is. One of those. That's the coriander that you've done. Uh... Now it's the flat leaf parsley. Oh. What have you done? I dropped it. It's all right though. This is looking like a real green yeah. dinner. Well, I think it gets combined with the the red wine vinegar and stuff. Probably great um, for vegetarians, but before you, you know, at the lab. What, just a series of herbs? Well, what else do they eat? <laughs> Non-meat things. Such as herbs. But like meat replacement and so here's a question mushrooms you, and stuff. What I'm making here, right, this part of the meal, yeah. is this the chimichurri? I think so, yeah. Good. Um, I'm just, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying real hard to not get any of the stalks from the flat leaf parsley. And if, if a couple of little tiny ones go in, I'm not, I'm not too fussed about that, are you? I guess not, otherwise we'd be here all night. Exactly. So do you think I'm doing this well now? Sure, I mean, you, you're playing fast and loose with the edge of the pot, but... Yeah, 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 but you know, that's all fine, isn't it? Mm. I saw a, a, an image earlier on, on Twitter that I shared, which said, uh, if you can't handle me at my fastest, you don't deserve me at my furiousestest. That's um, a picture of Vin Diesel. So, um, um, I'm going to go fast sometimes when I'm cooking. Are you? Ever? No, no I'm not. You don't even eat fast. Everything about uh, you. Incorrect. I eat desserts really fast. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why. I think what happened, here's, here's my theory. I think I nearly choked when I was a child. And that's set off some like deep subconscious thing about over chewing my food. So I think I'm so slow because I'm very carefully chewing everything in my mouth. Didn't you choke when eating a bowl of fruit once? Because you ate it too fast. No, I didn't choke. I ran out of breath. Oh, well, it's not a big difference between those two things, is I it? I ate too fast. I was so excited with all of the fruit that I was eating that I ran out of breath. Mm -hmm. We've all been there. Maybe not necessarily with fruit. Maybe not with fruit, Maybe not with fruit but... <laughs> I don't I've, think I have. I've seen you scoff chocolate before. I've never run out of breath eating chocolate. Mm. Have you done yet? Do you want me to make this with love, or do you just I mean, want me you're to... you're not love, are you? Uh, yeah. I don't know how I could put more love in this and still make this a show that is okay to show on YouTube. Done. Sick of it. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? 
Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put the right, lid on. Remember you're going to pulse this, not... Yeah, well that was a top tip that we found out the other day. Pulsing's more fun, isn't it? It's... There we go. He's learning. I know I'm learning. It's well, a... He's dropping kicking... messes all over the floor, nah, but... Kicking a limb is an educational experience. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to blitz it on pulse setting until the herbs are finely chopped. Now, you're going to want to be careful here. This is what it says. This is me saying it. This is saying it. it says, be careful not to over-process as you don't want them to turn into a puree. Uh, alternatively, you could finely chop them with a sharp knife. We're not going to do that. We're going to pulse it because that's more fun. Are you ready? Yeah, it's really not going to need a lot. So just do a short burst chop. What did I just say? It's going to need some more than that, love. Okay. What? Any more than that? It probably needs a bit of stirring or something because all the bits at the top are still really. No. I'm stirring it, aren't I? You're sticking your grubby fingers in. Yeah, be careful because there is a yeah, sharp exactly. blade in there. Yeah, just give that another. Give that another go. Ready? Yeah. I'm done with it. Absolutely sick of that. Scrape it into a bowl. Oh, it's still got some quite big bits, but maybe it's supposed to. Maybe. Um, and maybe if it doesn't, who cares, right? Like, it's cooking. Improvise. Okay. So, scrape it into a bowl. Put that leaf in a bowl. It smells nice, doesn't it? It smells like mm, a garden. It smells very fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you want from food. Oh. Why, why did you do it like that? Don't Annoyingly, know. I wasn't pointing the camera at it, but... Well, 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 why aren't you capturing all this? Should I capture that? Give you something Mess. to capture, love. I'll, I'll... All right, so next we uh, add the lemon zest and juice. So here's a question, Catherine. Mm -hmm. I need to do the juice of half a lemon. Yeah. And I need to do the zest. Mm-hmm. To do lemon zest, what you basically need to do is grate lemon, right? Yeah. Do that first and cut it in half? I probably would, yeah. All right. So I'm going to need... Oh, dear. What, where's the grater? Well, we used it last night. So where is it? It's clean, right? Oh, well, if it's clean, then why are you rodeoing me? Because I forgot that it was clean. Uh, all right, so which... This grater has four settings. And we're going to use this setting. Yeah. So what you want to do, if you want to come have a look at this, maybe come over this side, you get a much better view. Uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to rub it along there. Now, how much zest do I do? I mean, considering all of it's not coming out yet, I'll probably, well, some of it's coming out. Uh, try and cover, right, so you, now you've grated a lot of that side of the lemon, there's probably not a lot of zest on that part of the skin there. I've been turning the lemon as I've okay. been going. Yeah. yeah. It didn't look like it. No, I had though. Look. Look at all that, okay. that I've zested. Quite yeah, a lot just don't zest as much as you can around the edge. Oh, right, I'm zesting more then. There we go. And this is how you zest a lemon, if you uh, weren't aware. Now, normally, if you were to eat a lemon raw, you wouldn't eat the skin, would you? Mm, so, not in like... Quite interesting, it's... isn't it, that, that it's added into this recipe. Yeah, it brings out the lemony. Things. Are there any other fruits that you can think of that have a skin that you'd put into a recipe that you wouldn't normally eat? Like I mean, a lot banana of, skin? A lot of fruit skins can be candied. If... Banana? I don't know. It's quite a lot of zest now. Okay, we'll leave it at that then. Well, no, yeah. You've still got to scrape out the whatever's stuck in the grater. How do I do that? I've got a spoon here, you could just scrape can it you get a, That's quite a lot that's in there. Are you, yeah. I'm showing it to the camera, oh, not sorry. to you. Well, you know, you need to clarify these things. No, I don't. <laughs> Just assume that everything I'm showing is to the camera and you. Right, that'll do. It's a lot of zest, so that's fine. All right, and then I'm going to cut this lemon in half and squeeze half of it, because that's what it says to do, isn't it? It says, uh, add the lemon zest and juice, yeah. and it's half the juice of one lemon. So... Do you need a chopping board? Nah. Well, be careful on the surface then. Yeah, I'm going to do it on this bag. Right. 
and that's going to protect the surface. I mean, barely, but okay. No, I'm fine. And make sure there's no pips. Yeah. A couple of pips. Yeah. Oh, actually, I've got a little spoon here. Yeah, just use that, innit? Yeah. And there you go, that's got those, those pips out lovely jubbly. That's got most of them out, and then I'm just going to squirt this. Oh, there's a pip. Yeah, are you going to get that? Oh, no. I've got it. Well done. Keep an eye out for any more. Like that one. No, it's, it's in there. Oh. That one that fell in there. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, I'm really squatting this now. Oh, there's, oh, another, there's one. another one. Do you want to grab that out? Yeah, I'd really wish that you didn't do it in a way that then means I have to stick my hand in here because it's really difficult. Yeah. To get it out. That way, let's use a little spoon. Oh, well, now you say that. Sake. <laughs> Do you know what's always fun? Winding me up. Clicking with Liam. I'm sick of this. I'm done. Do you know what? I like my things to be quite lemony. How about you? I do too. I'm going to do the whole lemon. I know it's not what the recipe says. Well, that seems a bit outlandish considering we're also supposed to be adapting the recipe for yeah. four cutlets yeah. instead of eight. Yeah, but I don't feel like enough juice came out of that part. So. I'm going to do the other half, and do you know what? If it tastes good, well done, me. And if it doesn't, oh well. Yeah, I mean, the thing with these pinch of non recipes is. Oh, there's loads of pips in that half, though, wasn't there? Yeah, so just keep an eye out. It's like they're not very tasty because they're trying to be like healthy. And I just think let's, let's improv and make them oh, a bit good. tastier. Yeah, let's get rid of this now. Mm. There's another pit there. Oops, I dropped it. Now, I'm much happier with this amount of lemon. Okay. Um, but, but here's the thing with lemon juice. It's quite acidic and it's all over my hands. So I'm going to wash them again. Yeah. Because they're starting to burn. Um, if you've got eczema, um, chef it in top tip. Maybe get like someone who doesn't have eczema to do that bit for you. That's why I always get you to juice lemons. Yeah, exactly. You could probably get like a lemon juicer, couldn't you? Yeah, probably. If um, if it was a real problem, and let's say maybe you had eczema and you live by yourself, just get a lemon juicer, innit? Um, I mean, we probably should just get one anyway, because it's more convenient. Yeah, I know, but you also know how I feel about like... Gadgets. In random the shit for like one thing in the kitchen. Like yeah. a chorizo knife. And then like the garlic crusher. We need to get a better garlic crusher. The one we've got is terrible. But also like, why don't you have more than one purpose? Oh, don't even get me started, it's a conspiracy. And now we're gonna add red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of it. So let's get a tablespoon out. This is a tablespoon. Uh, it's already yeah, 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 I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. We're going to do the little trick that we like to do where we do it over Please the bowl. Please do this really carefully because vinegar is quite strong and you don't want that to be the overarching taste. Right, when you come coming this way and you can see me being really careful with it there. So, Go if on. you need to be really careful with something like this, just do it real nice and slow. Slow like a slot. And you do it like that, you do it like that. And that's, you know that's, one, that's, yeah. that's, that's about one, yeah? Oh, bear in mind we're supposed to be halving these, so it probably is just the one, isn't it? No. Oh, mate, it's a really strong flavour. I'll do one in a little bit. There you go. That's basically two. Well, did we halve the amounts of mint and everything? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. All right. We I'll didn't halve the lemon. In fact, we added extra, so we yeah, might we be like okay. It's, it's all fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So I've done that. I've done that. And I've done that. Now, oh, God, that's garlic granules. This should be two teaspoons of garlic granules. Last time when we cooked, um... is it actually two in total? Yeah, so, so you're gonna do one. Yeah. Well, here's my question: How much do you like garlic? Uh, the garlic granules are too strong. I oh, wouldn't right. go for extra. One, it is then. Um, last time, do you remember when we did the chicken? Yeah. There was a little garlic surprise. Which one of us both got the garlic surprise? Well, only one of us got the garlic surprise, and it was me. Yeah. How was that? So one teaspoon, about this much, then, yeah. Yeah. How was the garlic surprise? Garlicky. Yeah. You weren't happy, were you? 
Well, it was fine. It was just all in one bite, so it was a bit much. The garlic surprise. Mm. So that's that done. Lovely jubbly. Um, um, water. Two tablespoons of water and sweetener. So back to tablespoon. Can I bring the bowl over? And I'm going to do this carefully. That'll do. It's one in it. Mm -hmm. This is what it's starting to look like now. If yours is looking like that, then let's hope that's correct. I haven't got a Scooby Doo. Um, what did I say after the water? I said the sweetener. The sweetener was half a teaspoon. So. It's barely worth adding. I'll be alright, cheers again now. Sure. So, half of half a teaspoon. Hey, what was on that teaspoon before? Garlic. That's definitely. Not that much. You know that sugar that yeah. gets used, that gets put on our pancakes? Yeah. That's probably got garlic in it now. Such a small amount, though, that, like... Okay, well, if your pancakes taste like fucking garlic... Oh, did you not see it? I wiped it on the apron. It, that's not a really foolproof way of getting rid of it. It's fine. There's not going to be garlic in the mm. sugar. I mean, there's not going to be enough that you'll be able to taste it. Uh, taste and season with a little salt and pepper required. Don't taste it. It'll be fine. What just, does it... just add a bit of salt and pepper. Why is it telling me to taste this? That's insane. I'm sorry. You know how I feel about recipes. And that's ridiculous. Did any even come out? It's yeah, it did. But... Yeah, that's plenty. That's absolutely plenty. Right, we're done with that. Now what? Next, I divide the sauce into two. This isn't a sauce. Also, are you not supposed to stir it at any point? It doesn't say to. I really recommend that you stir it. <laughs> I mean, I would really say this isn't a sauce. No, not remotely. What? Have I done something wrong? I don't think so, but it looks kind of dry, so I'd maybe add some more water. Yeah? Yeah, not loads, but maybe make up that extra teaspoon or whatever it was. Tablespoon, I think it was. Yeah. If that looks dry. Yeah, like, I don't really Considering know. Considering that also, like, the recipe isn't going to call for any oil. Yeah. Hon honestly. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, it needs a bit more stirring, but... Yeah, that's going to yeah, be fine. Okay. That's it for that. Let's, let's leave that there for now. So, divide it into two, but I don't know how you to do that. Take one half and rub liberally into the lamb chops. So, we've got the four lamb chops here. Um, and then we're going to need to cover them and, and uh, place them in a bowl, cover and refrigerate for between one to two hours. I don't think we put these in a bowl. I think we're going to want to put them on a plate. Well, I was going to suggest that you just mix it up in the bowl so it's properly covered and then put the bowl in the fridge. All right, I'll do that then. Big bowl? Yeah, one of the glass bowl. No, the glass bowl. The biggest one. This one. Yeah. On the minaire with the. With that. Why is that only half? I don't know. Well, look at the rest of the recipe and figure out. After marinating, take the lamb chops out of the fridge and allow 15 minutes them to room temperature. Spray a griddle. When the pan is hot, cook a time will vary. Serve with a little of the remaining sauce drizzled over the top. It's not a sauce. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we just did a whole lot on the lamb. Yeah, I just Because like I said, it's not a sauce. That's... I don't know if this is going to go well. Well, I've I reached... think it's, it's very interesting that it, it thinks it's a sauce. I've reached the point of cooking with Liam, and it's quite early this episode, where I'm fearful of how this is going to turn I mean, out. we are half an hour in. Yeah, but normally I've got, like, normally at the prep stage, I have a bit more faith that it's all going to go well. It's once we start putting it out of the oven that I start getting scared. Yeah. But today, I'm not happy at all, to be honest. Oh, no. Like, I'm happy, like, in general terms. I'm just not happy with... Liam? You said to rub it in. Oh, it no, just chuck it in and mix it. 
like muck about, chuck it in. Oh, it's had to rub it liberally. Yeah, and then you can rub it in. Don't you? Don't need to pick it up in different sections. All right. Yeah, be here all day. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Lovely. Rub it. In. I'm rubbing it in liberally, as you can see. Yeah, make sure it covers the underneath of the lamb as well. Yeah. Trying. I think I just rubbed two lambs together, and I don't know if that was helpful. <laughs> Did look like you were trying to wash your hands with the lamb, which was an odd choice. This is how I rub things in. Okay, I mean it looks pretty rubbed in. No, it's not quite rubbed in enough yet. Right. Oh god. Do you know what though? What? I'm sick of this. Yeah. We've, we've we've still got to let this settle for an hour. I know, but I also need I'm to done. see how long the potatoes take. Right. It said to cover it. What should I cover it with? Just get a bit clean film. Okay, okay. I'm just going to wash my hands because my hands got really, like, green. Yeah. Doing that. Yeah. I don't know if you saw. Yeah. Um. What? Oh, that's, I was trying to figure out where the other tea towel was. It's over there. It's over there. It's over there. Hello. Hello. So, that's done. I'm going to get the clean film out. Um, and you wanted me to look at the potatoes as well, didn't you? Well, sort out the cling film, we can pop this in the fridge and then you can have a look at the potatoes. Huh? Oh my god. Right, put the cling film yeah. on the bowl, pop it in the fridge, and then you can look at the potatoes. Alright. So Chef Liam recommends that you get the cling film out, you cover the bowl in it, much like what I've done here. As you can see, the bowl is now covered. You're going to pop this in the fridge, so come with me. Top of the fridge? Sure. And then we look at the potatoes. And the potatoes say, now this is going to be quite interesting, you oven cook it from chilled for 30 minutes. Okay. So I reckon... Add in the time for the oven to heat up. So in about 20, 20 minutes, minutes 20 time. minutes, I'm going to put the oven on. Yeah. That's going to heat up. Yeah. We'll come back and we'll put the potatoes in the oven and then we'll go away again. And then we'll come back and we'll do the spring greens. I don't and... think they need to see you filming putting the oven on. No, not the oven on, the potatoes going in the oven. Right. Um, and then we'll come back, we'll do the spring greens and the lamb. All right? So now all it's left to do is sing a little song. Are you going to sing with me, Catherine? No. Cooking with Liam. Here in the kitchen, cooking with Liam. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Liam. I'm Liam. Uh, so what you're going to want to have done is have the lamb marinate for about an hour, um, which is what I've got here. And then you want to get the lamb out and you want to let it rest for about 15 minutes to get it to room temperature. Uh, in the meantime, because we're doing these uh, parmentia potatoes, um, I'm gonna, I've got a baking tray here with the foil on, that's already been prepared. And I'm just gonna put these. Oh, what do I do with that bit? So that kind of goes at the top in the middle. Have you washed your hands? I'm gonna wash my hands first before mm. I start touching food. I was hoping I could get away with it, but. Why would you wanna get away with it? Well, if I'm just like literally just tipping potatoes onto a tray, I don't need to wash my hands for that. Oh, I? I see. I thought you were meaning that you wanted to get away with touching food with dirty hands. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I'd get away with not touching food. Like a dirty pig. What? Not touching food is a dirty pig behaviour. No, I mean, if you were touching it. Oh, yeah, that would be vile. You don't with want that. dirty pig hands. Yeah, you don't want to get germy hands on your food. And then no. Make, make your, your people eating it sick. Um, you do not want that. So, now that my hands have been washed, I'm going to just pop this to one side for now. <laughs> the interesting technique. Uh, uh, just... just pop it in the middle. On the... I mean, that's not the middle, is it? What? That's the middle there. And you kind of want to... 
Spread them out. Oh. Yes, yeah, we should have done that first. Sorry. Oh, no. Spread them out a bit by shaking them and then put that back in the middle. I'm sick of Lovely. it. Lovely. Okay. Right, this is going in the oven. oven. Yeah. Uh, on the middle the shelf. Heated up now. So I'm just going to pop this. Other way. Otherwise, it won't cook evenly, will it? I don't know. That'll do. That's in the oven. Ignore how dirty the oven is. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'm just going to wash my hands again. And um, we'll be back in 15 minutes when that's going to be at room temperature. Um, we how start... long does, does it say the lamb takes to cook? Bear in mind, you also need to heat up the pan. Heat up the pan, and then they reckon it's going to be like between five to seven minutes on each side of the lamb. I don't think it's going to be that long. Okay, just bear in mind if you need to heat up the pan as well, that we want to factor in that time. I factored it in, don't worry. Okay, he's factored it. All right, so I'm going to put my timer on for 15 minutes. Um, and we're also going to want to sort out the spring greens as well, aren't we? Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about those. So with think. with the kettle boiling as well, I'd We're say that's about golden. 15 minutes. Exactly. So in 15 minutes time, I'll be back to boil the kettle, do the spring greens, do the lamb. And um, as my nan would say, if you stick a broom up my arse, I sweep the floor as I go. <laughs> so that's been this part of Cooking with Liam. Now we're going to sing the song, Cooking with Liam. Here in the kitchen, cooking with Liam. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Liam. Uh, 15 minutes has passed, the potatoes are in, the kettle, I've just put that on, just we'll leave that. Uh, I'm going to prepare the spring greens very quickly. Uh, so to do that, what you're going to want is a saucepan, that sort of size roughly. Um, and then we just pop that on there like that. Uh, um, just a, a, a point, that's probably the hot ring you're going to want to use for the lamb. Yeah, 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 this is just while I put this on there, don't worry okay. about it. Okay. So, kind of pop the spring greens in here. Carefully. Always, always. See? Well. That's careful enough. Well, you made a mess there, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, no. Made a ruddy mess. I don't care. Okay. All right, I can go over there then. Um, so, that's ready, ready, ready. Um, right, now, what I need um, is um, a griddle pan or a heavy based frying pan. So, we have both of those things, so watch. take your pick. Griddle. Okay, well the griddle should be at the bottom of the pile of pans, at the back, uh, below that one. Yeah, yeah, but I've obviously got to get that out to get it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be better for putting the lamb on. Yeah. Look at that, so that's a griddle pan, in case anyone doesn't, doesn't know. Griddle pan. Um, what you want to do with the, the griddle pan, is uh, oh, spray it with um, spray spray. Spray spray. This is one calorie a spray. How many calories do you want today, Catherine? Oh, you want to put enough on to coat the pan, so. That's 15. Okay. 15 calories? Sure. Now what? Now, what I do, obviously, is I turn this on and I get the pan nice and hot. So I've got it on quite high. If you look at that flame, it's a high flame. It's a lovely high flame. Lovely high flame. And what you want to do uh, is get it on a high heat and when the pan is hot, add in the lamb chops. Now, your cooking time will vary depending on how thick the lamb chops are and, uh, and how you like them. I'd say they're probably not very thick, right? Ours aren't, but no. people at home cooking it, Yeah, I'm right. just saying for uh, reference. Now, Pinch of Nom, they prefer theirs medium, and they can they say that you can expect to cook the lamb chops for between five to seven minutes each side. Uh, also, you may need to cook them in two batches, depending on the size of the pan. Because we've only got four, 
I think we're going to be fine cooking them all together. Yeah, I think um, so. And I think I'm going to use this for flipping them. Okay. So it says five to seven minutes each side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do about three minutes each side and flip and see. I'm going to make a controversial statement that I've just thought of. I personally don't think we should have gravy with this. I don't think it really works. But uh, you're you're the chef, so. I'm doing gravy. Right. I just might not have gravy on. Yeah, yeah. You do not have to have gravy. Okay. I'm not gonna force you. Well, that's good news because I don't want it. I mean, I don't know. That's gonna be dry as balls without gravy. No, I don't think so. Well, yeah, all right, we'll see. Okay. Last time you didn't think the gravy was sweet, but when afterwards you said, Leah, thank you so much for making me have gravy with this. It's made a whole really? lot of difference. I don't remember that. Maybe our audience oh, could go back in the archives of Cooking with Liam and, and find that clip for me. Yeah, maybe. Um, Brilliant. You've got to the sassy stage of cooking when you're just like, oh, this is a bunch of shit. Mate, I'm so sick of it. I'm really not looking forward to this next bit with the lamb. So I'm just going to miss that up. So I'm going to need it for the gravy. Okay. Uh, I reckon that griddle is probably pretty hot. I mean, like, I can't see I the, see the cooking oil anymore, and I see steam, so I agree. So let me just fill this up. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the lamb. Okay. And then I'm going to put the gravy on there. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put the gravy on there. Have you got the tongs to turn the, the lamb over? Is that what they're for? Yeah, that's exactly what the tongs are for. This has taken an absolute decade, isn't it? Fuck me. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. What were you doing? Nothing. Were you being naughty? No. Would I? So, when you're cooking, it helps to have someone helpful with you. Right, okay, here we go then. This is the bit that I'm not looking forward to. I'm going to just get my be, phone out. Just be careful when you put your lamb on that you don't get spit. Oh, I've got my apron, haven't I? Yeah, I just meant like on your hands as you're putting it on there. Okay, it's going on. Are you ready? Yeah. One. Oh, it smells nice. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Two. Do you know what? I don't know what you're having tonight because this ain't enough lamb for both of us. It's well, barely it enough be. lamb for just me. It'll have to be, that's a bit of lamb. Come off of the chop, hasn't it? Right. I'm starting that and I'm going to flip those when that's got to about three minutes. Okay. Um, is How much longer on the potatoes? When this is done, the potatoes are ready. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to keep that at a high heat, but I'm going to take it down a little bit. When are you putting the... Have you put the... Oh, you put the spring greens on already? Yeah, they're on, mate. They're okay. cooking. All right. They're cooking away. All right. Turn them up a little bit. Is this a... What sort of heat do you reckon for the lamb? I'd probably put it... But it's probably fine. But just check it once you turn it over. What am I looking for when I turn it over? I don't know, see how cooked it looks. Alright. Um, so, do you want me to make your gravy so you have a choice? And you might as well just make a normal amount of gravy, yeah, otherwise it's going to be faffy, isn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm not going to do that just yet, but I am going to start mm. preparing it. Um, it's just the, yeah, this is gravy. Let's just start with how much gravy? Four heaped teaspoons. Uh, I'm just gonna have this on the go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, the sauce has been left out. I'm gonna pop that back. If you come over this way, you'll see that um, we have quite a collection of mint sauce. So I'll use one of these cold ones instead of that one that's been left out for the last hour. Does mint sauce need to be cold? It's better when it's cold. Okay. Yeah, it's a real um, symphony of, of senses, Dave. Yeah, got well, nice don't... warm gravy, the cold mint sauce. Yeah. It's lovely. When you, while you're doing, why have you done a count up? So when it gets to three minutes, I'll stop it and flip it all over and start again. Why didn't you do a timer and then you don't have to keep watching it? I'll do this way now, don't I? Okay. Um, 
And once once this is all done, it says that you serve with a, the remainder of the sauce. But like that's not really sauce, so. I mean, I'm you could probably that. put a little bit of this I'm on not, top. I'm not. I might put a little bit on top of mine. Do you know what? You can. Uh, more than well, I'm not one, using so. grey boots, so that'll be my... Uh... Yeah, you, you do you, love. Okay, love. You already might want to turn the spring green down, because they really don't take very long to cook. Or boil, I should say, I suppose. You're an independent woman, and yeah. you can do whatever you want to do, whenever yeah. you want to do it. Okay. Um, because... Can I leave? No, you've got to film. <laughs> Come on. I can't film this and cook yet. I didn't say I was an independent man that could do whatever I wanted. Right. I need lots of help. Right. Professional help. Mm -hmm. um, right, so I've hit the, got to the, the three minutes now. Uh, I flip the lamb over. You might want to come around this way so you can... Well, that burns that bit. That's... Maybe we turn the heat down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I probably no. Actually, I don't think you should. Yeah, I won't then. Because what? We've only got the three minutes left now. Oh right? yeah, I better set that timer. There we go. Yeah, three minutes left. Um, and then hopefully the table should be done. The table should be done. Everything should be done. Yeah. So at this stage, how I'm, I'm thinking this is probably one of our less happy meals that we've done so far. Yeah, I mean, my only like thing is, as I reckon, this would be quite nice as like lamb steaks rather than the cutlets because like there's not just not going to be a lot of meat, there. Of meat there, is well, there. Well, this is what I said. What are you going to have? Because I could easily polish up all four. Of these. I know. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of lamb so you have one? anyway. So like, no, I, I want to be given two in case it's nice. Well, it's not like. Then you can have my second one. I mean, I mean that's a fair deal. Not really, because if it's not nice, I just get an extra not nice bit of lamb. Yeah, but you might like it. Yeah, I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get a little teaspoon. I've got one. So that's going to stir once that's done. That's got another two minutes on it. The spring greens are going absolutely Do you lovely. Do check how the potatoes are looking? Not really. Okay. Can I have a look? Okay. I'm going to get those out. Yeah. See, aren't we glad we checked? No. You really have lost the will at this point, haven't you? I'm really tired. Yeah. That's the I think the audience will be able to tell because you've kind of said, like, I've had enough of this or I'm sick of it about five times. I mean, that's not unusual for an episode of Cooking with Me. Yeah, it's just though. a different tone to it this time. Like, I feel like you really mean it. I always really mean it. Yeah? Yeah. Like, let me emphasise that cooking is a fucking nightmare. And um, so far, out of... I'm looking. Yeah, it's oh, still got a minute left. Yeah. Out of all of the um, Cooking with Liam episodes we've done so far, this is episode 11, I believe. Yeah. Only one has been really good, like the chicken chorizo pasta bake thing. Yeah, we, we went up for seconds, didn't we? Yeah, and it's quite disheartening. I thought yeah. that the chicken palm thing was quite nice. It's fine. Okay. It's just, you put all this heart and soul and effort into it. Do you though? Because most of the time you're just like, I can't be asked with this, I'm done with this, I've had enough of this. I put a lot of my heart, soul, <laughs> effort, blood, sweat, tears into this. And it just like, I'm either let down by the recipe, or I'm let down by my own incompetence, or I'm let down by something else. And like, it just Which nice. one do you think it's the most? Like, do you think it's mostly like recipes I would, or I'll, I'll incompetence? I'll let you, I'll let you or... tell the viewers which one you think it is the most. I think it's a real combination of the two because some recipes you're just like, the fuck, man. And then other times it's like, oh, it's because Liam either like massively misjudged timings. Right, this is done. Couldn't be bothered. It's a real combination. I'm going to get this off of it. And I'm just going to move this over here. But I'm going to go back to stirring the gravy. Do you want me to put the cutlets on the plate for you? No, 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 no. I'll okay. be back to do those in a little bit. Let me just get some gravy stirring going. I know you're less fussed about the gravy because you're not having it. Yeah. It looks like stone give a fuck. I'll just get on with the rest of it. Well, no. Teamwork, isn't it? 
So don't need that anymore. Uh, what you could do, uh, if you want to be helpful, is yeah. you could get the colander out for me. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm going to drain the spring greens. Do you want me to carry on stirring the gravy or do you think it's done? No, I'll, I'll test it in a second. I'm just getting all this stuff out of the way. Put in the way there. That one water bottle. Yeah. Right. And the lid. Oh. Oh, I can't even see what's going on there. All the steam. I don't even know if that's been in long enough. I didn't time it. I mean, it really doesn't take very long. So yeah. right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, this. Not looking too lumpy, so that's good. Uh, you can still hear the lamp just like sizzling away, can't you? You can, yeah. So I'm going to serve this up now. Do you want a chest, like, chest? check that that's cooked all the way through. Um, I can't because I've got the camera. Well, once I've served this up, yeah. you can. Right. I'll once take your camera off here. Yeah. Once you've put the potentially still raw meat on the plate, so I'll check it. I'll just get this out of your way so don't need to burn yourself. No, you your like. Right, coming back now to take your camera off. Now, this is the moment of truth where we see if Liam has poisoned us. This probably looks like the biggest piece, doesn't it? Sure. No, that looks good to me. Do you want to get it for the camera? That's how, that's how it should look. Probably. Do you want to take the camera back or do you want to put the potatoes on yourself? It's up to you. What would you prefer? You like to serve it, don't you? I do you? like to serve it, yeah. So why don't you reuse those tongs to put the... Yeah, you go grab the tongs. Because you can use that for the potato and the veg now. Perfect. It's like I Ow. planned it. I'm an idiot. What'd you do? Just lent on the side where the hot pan's been. That is very silly. Yeah, um, it's fine though. I'm just going to grab... Just don't lean or put things there because that's where the pan was. Yeah, one problem with these potatoes is they're a bit stuck to the foil. Yeah. Happens. So, not ideal. Which one, Joe? This one? Which one? This one over here. Uh, yeah, sure. Have you got any... Um... Do you want to use one of the forks to try and scrape the underneath of the potatoes? Because it's just not really doing anything, is it? What? It's going to take forever and it's going to go cold. Like that? Yeah, that's doing the trick, isn't it? Not really. I mean, just scrape them with the fork and then use the tongs again. No, that's no, not that's helping, just, you, it? you do that and I'll film. Okay. Because I'm right. well and truly not sure what to do with that. And... I don't, I, I don't know what I did wrong. Would greaseproof paper have been a better option? Possibly. Can that go in the oven? Yeah. What a fork. Maybe we should have used that then. Because we always seem to have trouble with foil when things getting sticky. Yeah, like in theory, the garlic butter stuff should have added some lubrication. Yeah, but that's what's made it stick to the foil, I think. If you look, it's the middle section where the garlic butter was. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense, does it? I don't know, mate. Mm. So here we go. We're nearly finished with that. Not as easy as it looks, though, is it? No. But so you haven't got a lot of potato on your plate. No, I'm about to go back to mine. There we go. Oh, I don't know why it's on there. Here's the spring greens, lovely. And then here is the gravy. Everything's getting cold. There you go, that's probably it, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Is spring greens or No, nah, I've got those, you can take that back. Are you twisting it sideways for? Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to like give it to you without no, putting your boots in fine. it, because you've always whinged it. Yeah, no, I was fine. Careful, because there's water dripping everywhere. You don't want to drip that all over the plate. Far too late. Or the foot. Far too late. Should have kept this in the pan, shouldn't I? That's what you normally do. Mm. How many spring greens do you want? Is that enough? I can't see. That's more than enough. Do you want me to take some off with you? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. There you go. So you're not having... Um, gravy? No. Do you want some of that sauce for over? Yeah. Right. 
put some of that on top of the lamb as the recipe suggests. I think it's going to taste absolutely right over that gravy, personally. I don't. I've got faith. Oh, made a mess. Here by I mean, it smells really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to describe the smell to the viewers at home? It's a little bit lemony. And I did put more lemon than they recommended in. Yeah. Do you reckon that was a good shout? Yeah, because I mean, like, it's not overpowering. Well, the smell isn't anywhere. I don't know about the taste, but... Yeah. There we have it. Sense. Yeah, are you gonna? Oh, you're adding mint sauce, aren't you? Come yeah, on. I'll have some mint sauce. Chop bloody chop, please. Some of us want to eat. All right. Well, do we want to show people at home how much mint sauce I would normally add on something like this? I mean, you're about to. So. I like my mint sauce. You see, when we have like roast dinners, I like to do little pools of mint sauce around the plates. So I've got. I've always got somewhere to go for mint sauce. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Bon appetit. Enjoy. We'll be back in a bit for the, the taste test. Cut a bit of the lamb first. Yeah, go for it. I'm filming, but um, we're here to do the taste I was test. I say wait until I've cut the lamb because it might take a while. That's fine, you got this. Okay. You know it's lucky it didn't take a while, thankfully. No, because okay. I cooked it so well. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mmm. How is you get a bit of bang. Oh, how's the... Um, the lamb. Thanks for filming that. Um, I, did, I, I was filming the plate while you were taking it out okay, of your mouth. Okay, um, I really like it. It is quite lemony, but I like lemony a that's lot. That's the sauce that's on it. Yeah, it's good. All right, shall I take over? Mm-hmm. No, you take over. I take over, you eat. Uh, let's eat. Cut off a bit of the lamb. Yeah, it's not easy to cut, is it? You made it look a lot easier than I'm making it look. Yeah, I think I just cut a tiny bit off I the end. A bit of that. You're just going to smother it in mint sauce so that yeah. you, that's all you taste. Hmm. Yeah? This doesn't taste too dissimilar to what you might find in a restaurant, I reckon. Yeah? It has that sort of same taste to it. Where it's got actual flavour. Yeah. Yeah? Any other thoughts? Um, definitely Quickly. you need more lamb. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I'd say effort in making this, one of the lower ones we've done. Yeah. Taste? Taste. It's up there. It's up there. It's not like one of the best, but it's better than average. Very good. What would you say? I agree. Very good. Um, if you, if you could get home, let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching.